and welcome back to tech stack channel before moving to our topics if not subscribe the channel please subscribe share and like the video and if you have any doubts please mention a comment section now we'll explore the rp challenge tool so the given develop and hr onboarding bot will upload all new staff details into the company hr portal website from the excel provider so they given the hints as well so read the excel file provided the data table upload each and employee details in the company hr portals okay so now i'm downloading the excel file and moving to the hr website portal and in this topic what the concepts will lack so one is the excel automation and another one is a web automation we can learn from this concept I back to this HR portal. So we have the employee ID, employee email, first name, and so on, other details. Let me open the Excel file as well. Okay, in this Excel file also few details are there. So just we need to grab these details and upload into the this website. Here the step one is reading the data from the Excel file. But they're taking the retrain workbook activity and updating the path. Let me take this path. And after that, data is stored in the sheet one. And the entire data is assigning to one variable, which I call as Excel data table. After that, I want to open the website. For that, open browser and going back to the website, taking the website link. This website link updated in the double quotes. After that, I want to read the uh, go to the each and every column here, and I need to update. But then taking for each activity, I need to take because it should be in the loop. But it's in data table and here i want to update the excel data table so because in this data table only we have the data and after that we need to enter the type into let me indicate on this first of all we need to enter the employee id let me check what type of selectors are available so it's having on process no let me go to ui explorer I want to see what is the inner text of that. Here having the inner text is e employee ID. So I will just take the inner text as well. And just click on the validate. And so it's working fine. And similar way I need, I will do for the rest of the things. And I want to update the value here. For that I go back to one Excel file. And let me check here having some data. So employee ID, I just copy this employee ID and uh, I will update here. Just I open this. So after this, rent row of I giving the employee ID dot to string. What will happen now? It will read the first row of this column. So it will take three, six, five, seven, and the next it will take two double eight zero and so on. Similar for the email and so on. And next, I will take. If you want, you can rename this activity name. So, for example, here entering the data now. So, I will take it as employee ID. And next,
Which one is we need to select that drop down from this and we can see male, female, and others. Uh, if you want to select the drop down, so I will go with this select item. Select item and I just drag and drop and indicate on that screen. And I'm able to indicate on that screen. And here is the make it a select gender now. Just copy the same thing and paste it there. After that, I need to click on the accept terms and policies. But that take it as click activity. Or else we can take that uh, click button as well. So you can take anything is fine. So both will work. But uh, first of all, check that whether if it is working fine or not. So if this is working fine, then OK. Else we need to go for a different option. So I want to check now. So for that, I will just press check. And finally, click on the submit up. Everything is completed and I'm running this bot. OK, we found one error. So it's saying that some time session out invoke activity. I think this error because I use here a checkbox button. No? I mean, I use this here a checkbox activity. So just I removing this, I'm taking a normal click only, taking the click activity and re indicating the same element. And finally, all the steps were completed. And now running this bot, we'll see how it will work exactly. So initially what it will do, it will read the data from Excel file and after go to the one website and update the employee details. So now we can see this updating employee ID, email ID, first name, last name, date of birth and uh, type of the designation and mobile number, gender as well, all details are updated and click on the accept terms and policies and click on the submit button. So this will loop for all the in uh, data. So how many rows are available in that Excel file? It will loop for all the those. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload.